Hello my friends, Janet Garcia here from EmpowerToChange.com and YouConcept.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a free tool, graphics tool, to create watermarks or any graphics that you want. Um, if you want to type something on top or change something, you can use this free tool. But there's no download required as in GIMP. With the program you have to download it and uh, then work with it. This is uh, very similar to Photoshop also and the best thing about it is that it allows you to use layers. That's very powerful when you are working with graphics. So go to pixelr.com, you see the name here, uh, .com slash editor and that will bring you this window. There's nothing to download like I said. And since I'm going to watermark an existing graphic, I'm going to choose this option if you want to create your own images select this tab and but I'm in this case I'm gonna select the second one and I'm prompted to select an image I'm gonna select this cat okay that's my little cat I can open this window more if I want to to have more room these are panels you can turn them on and off uh, from the view a menu you can select whatever you want to have on or off I can move them down down if I want if I have many layers I can just open this drag them down and then I have room for more layers this navigator I can zoom in and out of my picture or you can type the percentage of the view that you want this is pretty big so I'm gonna make it like that so I can work with um, keep in mind this is a very big image is 2600 pixels by 2300 it's pretty big for web so make sure that you export the image at a smaller size but right now I'm demonstrating this I'm not gonna upload it to my website so I'm gonna work with the picture the way it is so the first thing that you need to do when you are going to create a watermark is you're going to create a new layer because you don't want to damage your original image permanently so I can click here to turn on my options you can see that when I click on them it turns on the opacity and the mode you can access all this through the layer menu up here and I'm going to click here to create a new layer it's next to this trash can. Now I have my new layer. Again, you can do that by going to layer, new layer, if you forget. Now that I have my layer, here is where I'm going to do the watermark. And to create the watermark, I'm going to double click to select the main color or the color that I want to use on top of this image. So in this exercise, I'm going to use this blue gray I can pick from the image itself okay once you roll over out of this window notice that my mouse turns into the dropper tool and I can select any color here from from the cat from its eyes I'm gonna select this one for contrast and once you select your color you click OK now what I'm gonna do make sure you have selected your layer by clicking on it and it turns blue I'm gonna select here the marquee tool I'm gonna click on it and that's uh, it's gonna allow me to create a selection I'm gonna put my website at the bottom so I'm gonna click outside because I want it to be from corner to corner side to side okay and that's creating a marquee right here in this area you can move the marquee also if you want okay now that I have my selection, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bucket tool by clicking on it, this paint can, and I already have my color. I'm going to click inside to color that area. Notice that it's on a different layer. If I turn off the layer, you won't see the brown here that I just uh, painted with. To unselect, you can hit Control D or you can go to edit deselect all and you can learn about the shortcuts here 
I'm gonna use the menu because Camtasia is using the same shortcut key. Now that I have selected my color, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower its opacity because I don't want to uh, get, you know, obscure the, the cat. So I'm gonna go here to opacity, I'm gonna move the slider down. I'm gonna make it very light, you don't want it to be, you know, too obvious. If it's for watermark, if it's just for other purposes, you can, you know, you can have the opacity higher. But in this case, I just want a little contrast without, you know, totally obscuring its feet. So now I'm going to select the type tool. I'm going to click on it. So to have a text, all you have to do is click on the area. And this window is going to come up and just type whatever you want. Let's say I want that. And you can change the color also if you if you don't want it since that's the color that I had before that's the one that I still selected but I can choose a different one if I want by clicking here and then repeating the process if you want it to be blue you can click here and you can compare what you had before and what you're gonna have now or you can select here from these swatches Okay, make it darker. And I'm going to click OK. And notice that my font is really small because the graphic is of high resolution. So I have to increase the font pretty big in this case. Let's say I want it like that, or you can type it in. If you reach the, the end, you can just click here and type another number. And here I'm going to select ball. Again, you can select your font from here. Now that I click OK, I'm going to select the Move tool, which is this one here, this arrow. I'm just going to move it to where I want it. Let's say I want it here, in this little corner. And I'm going to change the opacity, very light, to both. Okay. Now, since I, the box is pretty big, I'm going to move it down. Make sure you have selected the corresponding layer and I'm going to move it down. Or if you want, you can have this in the middle. And there you have your watermark. Make it very light. Even like that, I will put it very, very light. And the reason is, you know, you don't want to take away from your image, but you want people to notice your website you know there's some people that that say well if it has a watermark i won't use it i won't pin it or whatever you know what i really don't care because that means that lots of people they want just to steal your images and that's why they don't want any watermark or anything but uh, if you're a graphic artist or things like that i'm an artist portrait artist so i have to watermark my images especially if they are for sale. So once you finish with um, your image, all you have to do is file, and then you're going to save your image, and it's going to ask you, since uh, you have different layers here, my suggestion is that you save the image first as a project. So click here in the drop-down box, and use this one, the last one, PXD, and save it to your computer. That way you can open it and you have access to these layers again. And once you have that, then if you have transparency on your image, then you have to use PNG. Otherwise, use JPEG, which is a smaller size. Usually 80% compression, it's OK. And then you will click OK and save your image. I'm going to save it to, let's save it to the desktop cat and it's a pretty big image and that's it so if you have any questions just uh, drop me a line and i'll help you out take care jenny garcia here bye bye